Welcome. Thank you for checking out Starstruck YouTube channel on the proper use of the Sigma Precious Metal Verifier or PMV Basic Unit set by Sigma Metalytics. This set includes the PMV Original Base Unit, Small Wand, Large Wand, Charger, and Case. Now let's get started by testing an American Gold Eagle coin by using the main sensor. Press the power button located on the lower right. Once on, the main sensor light will illuminate and display window will read, remove sample, push, run, cal, start. Make sure there's no metals around the main sensor area. Then press run, cal. The green ready light will illuminate. The pure gold option will automatically be selected displaying pure gold ready place sample. For demonstration purposes, an American Eagle coin will be tested for authenticity. This is done by changing the alloy type. Use the arrow key to the right and press until gold American Eagle option shows in display. Press Run Cal and place sample on the main sensor located on the top in the middle of the unit. Make sure the sample is inside the target area. If the American Eagle sample is gold, the display will show a cursor box in between the brackets indicating the sample is in range and is gold. Now, a test will be done on a silver American Eagle coin. To test this silver American Eagle coin that is 99.9%, .9%, press the bottom arrow key twice. Then press the arrow key to the right to select the alloy of silver at 99.9%. .9%. Press Run Cal and place the sample on the main sensor to cover the target area. Even when this American Eagle coins is encased in cellophane or an acrylic holder, the verifier can still read through it. Again, the display shows the cursor box between the bracket, indicating the sample is in range and is silver. Small wand versus main sensor, which one to use? The main sensor is used most of the time to measure one ounce coins, bullion bars, and most half ounce coins. However, there are limitations for coins, one being diameter, two thickness, three detection depth. Coin diameter must be large enough and no more than 24 millimeters to cover the thick black circle target on the main unit sensor. Coins encased in a slab or a plastic holder must be 30 millimeters in diameter and extend outside the target area. A bare or plastic bag sample needs to be inside the target area. And any sample too small will cause the reading to be wrong. As for thickness or detection depth, first identify the metal category that will be tested. Testing an item too thin for a given metal type will give you a false reading. It is important to know what the limits are for the main sensor small and large wands. Refer to the chart in the user guide on page 7 and follow these steps. One, select the metal you'll be testing. We'll be testing a gold Cougaran. Select the column of your coin or bar thickness. In this case, the Cougaran falls in the range of 1.0 to 1.7 millimeters in thickness. Its diameter range is 8 to 18 millimeters in diameter. This indicates that the small wand should be used for testing the Cougaran. Power the unit. You will see the wand green light illuminating. Press run cal. The ready light is 
on, go to your arrow key to the right and select Cougaran. Select Run Cal again. Take your coin and the wand, place the wand onto the coin, and you will see that the cursor box is within the brackets, indicating that the sample's in range and is gold. To purchase or receive more information on the Sigma Precious Metal Verifier, visit www.starstruckllc.com.